What's going on you guys? Zade here on ZSPN and I want to give you all my thoughts and my opinions as it concerns the game last night, Lakers versus the Nuggets. But before anything guys, please make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, share my videos all over Facebook, Twitter, all that good stuff. I really appreciate every single one of you showing support of my channel. Now as it concerns the Lakers versus the Nuggets, let's just get, uh, let's just put this out there guys. Uh, the Lakers sucked last night, okay? The, sure, there were some pieces that they were missing, okay? As you all know, Lonzo Ball was out, you know, due to a, uh, his ankle injury. Um, Brandon Ingram was out with a head injury. I'm not sure from what, but uh, it was possibly during practice. Uh, Brooke Lopez, uh, he was basically the main reason that personally for me, uh, that the Lakers have been losing for the past couple of games. Uh, they really need him back in the lineup. I hope he gets better with his, I think, his back injury, something like that. And um, who else was out? And also, Andrew Bogut. I mean, obviously, he's not really the the need for the Lakers to win a game, but he was also out. But other than that, guys, it was such a disappointment to watch. Um, I mean, even uh, Coach uh, Luke Walton, I mean, you know, he basically was disappointed of the team. I mean, there was not a lot of defense to watch. And plus, they were just too fast. They, they wanted to play so fast that they just gave up, I guess. I don't know. Uh, the, the Nuggets really showed up. I mean, they wanted to show the Lakers that, you know what, we are we are a better team than you guys, okay? And I, I don't know. Kenneth Fareed really showed up. I mean, you guys, you know, I grew up in Denver. And uh, growing up in Denver, you become a, a Nuggets fan. And w once Kenneth Fareed came to Denver, you know, got drafted, and came to Denver, you know, he became sort of sort of a a fan favorite here, and he brings that sort of defensive ability and the energy uh, into um, into the Nuggets, and that sort of athleticism and that sort of what we call it, what what he calls it, uh, Mamba. No, not Mamba mentality. Uh, uh, the Manimal mentality and you know he basically brings it i mean the guy scored 25 points seven rebounds and one assist i mean the guy really showed up and you know he's basically trying to prove a point that you know either either way even though um paul Millsap took his job he still wants his minutes and you know he's basically going to be possibly in the sixth spot for possibly getting his minutes possibly but uh, other than that, guys, the Nuggets really showed up. It was a blowout game. I believe it was around uh, 120 to 101. Please, guys, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I'll probably put the scores in this video. But uh, other than that, guys, it was such a, such a blowout. And the Lakers really disappointed me. I mean, sure, there were some pieces missing. And plus... It is the preseason, so we don't have to really focus on the losses that the Lakers are showing and the performances that they're showing. I mean, come on, guys. The starting lineup was Yanis, uh, uh, KCP, Luau Deng, uh, Randall, and I believe it was Zubat. That was the lineup. And the backup, obviously... Uh, they were there. It was a young backup. So uh, other than that, guys, uh, we I sort of expected that they weren't really going to win the game, but I should have expected them possibly showing up. You know, bringing out some points out there. I mean, some even points, some defensive ability. Obvious, like mostly. I mean, that's what Luke Walton wanted. To see from the 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 Lakers roster, but other than that, uh, it was just sad to watch. Okay, uh, I mean, I was disappointed. The only guy who really shined out there was once again Kyle Kuzma. 
I mean, the guy is just ready. He ready to play the regular season, to be honest. And uh, he basically will possibly take uh, Larry Nance Jr.'s uh, time and possibly his uh, backup position for Julius Randle. And let's just say it, guys. Julius Randle, I don't know. He's not really showing that sort of improvement from last year. I mean... He's, I mean, he's just showing the same improvement from last year, to be honest. I don't know. Maybe he's just doing it because it's just the preseason, possibly. Or um, it's just that's how he plays, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I expect him possibly, um, which I I don't know. I hope that he improves then, that he po he will possibly get traded before uh, February, uh, before the trading uh, deadline. I mean, guys, we really need some uh, veteran all-stars uh, on this team. That's why the Lakers are looking forward to 2018 free agency for possibly acquiring an all-star. Possibly Paul George, um, Cousins. I mean, you name it, guys. It's going to be loaded. Even LeBron James will be a, uh, a free agent in this upcoming uh, uh this upcoming free agency. So even Carmelo Anthony, if he doesn't, uh, if he doesn't deny his player option, he's going to be a free agent. So uh, other than that, guys, the Lakers are possibly going to look forward to uh, 2018 uh, free agency as an opportunity to go all in for an all-star. I mean, that's what we need. We need a veteran all-star who is, uh, I don't know, like it, in the level of a Paul George or a uh, Boogie Cousins. So, uh, other than that, guys, sure, it's just a preseason, but we need to see more at the Lakers. I mean, if somehow Brook Lopez does return for the next game. Maybe it will be a game changer. I'm not so sure, guys. But other than that, guys, uh, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Share my videos all over Facebook, Twitter, all that good stuff. And please, guys, comment down below. Give me your thoughts and your opinions about the game last night. Were you disappointed? Did you want to see some more improvement out of uh, Julius Randle? And uh, do you really think that Kyle Kuzma could possibly be a starter uh, this up in the regular season opener? Or do you think he just needs more minutes so we can see some more greatness out of Kyle Kuzma? Please Make sure to uh, share my videos all over Facebook, Twitter, all that good stuff. Like this video and uh, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.